Hello, this is Becca again from UNC Wellness Center. Um, for this video clip, we're going to be working with some balance and then core work and then relaxation, everyone's favorite. Okay. So for balance, we're going to start with our feet about hip width distance apart. We're going to do um, a standing twist. So you'll have the option to um, modify as you go along. So we're going to start with our knees again, soft, feet hip width distance apart. Now on the inhale, we're going to lift up our left leg. So as we lift the leg, checking with our balance, that spine nice and long, we might find something to focus on ahead of us, keeping the knees soft and those toes grounded. So you can stay here or you can add a twist. So if you're adding a twist, you're going to twist towards the inside of that left leg. And so we could have one hand on the thigh and one hand behind us if we choose. If we want a little bit more, we can flex our left foot and send it forward. We can also bring the arms parallel to the mat. And of course, to make it a little tougher, we can gaze over our back shoulder and our thumb. And then come forward and drop that foot. Very nice. So switching sides on the inhale, we'll lift up the right leg. And that standing leg again, toes grounded, soft knee, Link through the abs, link through the lower back. You can stay right here or you can add the twist. Twist towards the inside of that right leg. We can place the hand on the back and on the thigh if we choose. We can add those extra balance points by flexing our right leg. We can also bring the arms up parallel to the floor. And if we like, look at our back thumb. Bring everything forward again. Drop that foot, very nice. If you would like to try it again, you're welcome to do that one more time each side. Otherwise, we're headed to forward fold. And sweep those arms overhead. Exhale, soft knees, fold on down. And then inhale, reach up again. Arms behind us, open the heart, drop the shoulders. And release. And from mountain pose, we'll sweep the arms overhead. And on our exhale, find forward fold. Hands can be on the floor, the block, or you can hang in ragdoll. Let the neck relax. And then bring ourselves down to all fours, coming onto the hands and knees. So you're gonna move through our spinal balance. And so for spinal balance, we keep the hips square to the mat. First, we'll start with the legs. On our inhale, we're gonna lift up that right leg, flex the foot, knees in line with the hip, trying to keep those hips square to the mat. And then exhale, bring the knee down, lift up the left, flex the foot, knee in line with the hip. And then exhale down. If you'd like to add the arms, you're going opposites. Don't try to do the same side. Right leg left arm nice long line of energy keep the chin up and then exhale down and then switch sides so you can move here at your own pace if you like to do other variations of this pose feel free to do that now on our lift we're going to inhale and then exhale as we come down And let's do one more time each side. Very good. And sit back in a child's pose, bring the hips back, arms out in front, relax the head. On our inhale, we'll lift up. Coming into butterfly. So for butterfly, our feet open like a book, knees to the outside. Try to sit long in the spine. Remember, no slump asanas. So nice long spine. And on the exhale, we fold over the feet and relax the head. So you might notice if you're clenching your quads, we're gonna to try to keep these light. On that inhale, we walk ourselves back up, straighten the legs out in front, flex the feet, 
keeping a long lower back as we fold. So we're inhale, lift, and then exhale, fold at the hip. Arms are coming out, nice long neck. If you'd like to go deeper, we're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold a bit deeper. On our inhale, let's walk ourselves back up. We're gonna take one leg, cross it up and over, sit tall, add a spinal twist. We're gonna twist towards the inside of the leg, keeping the spine long. If you have the range of motion, you can bring that elbow to the outside of the knee. Back to the front and then we'll switch sides. Sit tall, twist towards the inside of the leg, to the front. We're going to roll down to the back. So bringing our knees with us, we're coming all the way down and bringing the feet to the floor. So we're going to move through a bridge pose. You can bring the ankles so they're aligned under the knees. If you like using a block, you can put that between the knees as well. On the inhale, we're going to press through the feet. Inhale, lift the hips up. And then exhale, keep the control as you lower back down. And again, inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower. So do that one more time together. And then exhale down. So you can stay with the flow, or if you prefer to hold the pose, we're going to lift the hips up and slightly walk the shoulder blades underneath us. Hands can rest on the mat or we can clasp them under the hips. Chin always points to the sky. Exhale, come on down. We do a little work for the abs. We're going to bring the legs up and do some extended leg extensions. I always like to start with the middle level. So the middle level, the knees in line with the hip, and we'll send one leg at a time. So flexing the foot, sending it away. Exhale, come back in, stop right at the knee, and then switch sides. So that's the middle level. If it need a little more support for you, your back, drop one foot down, and then switch sides. Or if you would like to Pick it up a notch. You can do both legs at the same time. I like to sit on my hands when I do this. Start at that 90 degrees, coming out, and then working back in. So spend a few moments moving here at your own pace with whatever options you like. You'll notice the closer you bring your heel to the floor without touching. And so after the leg extensions, We'll bring the knees to the chest. We can roll around side to side in the lower back if that's comfortable. And we're gonna bring our feet flat to the floor. So we move on to some flowing windshield wiper knees, feet, head and shoulders will stay on the mat. And on the exhale, we dip our knees down to one side, inhale to the center, and then exhale, dip your knees to the other side. Inhale back to the center. If you want to extend the twist, you can turn the head in the opposite direction of the knees as you move. We're trying to keep the control on the muscles as we go. And then next time we'll hold on the right side. So you can either stack the knees or if you want to take eagle legs, you can cross the left knee over the right. Relax your shoulders. Soften the hip and the thigh. And then come back to the center. We're gonna to go to the left if you want to cross the legs again. I'm gonna cross the right leg over the left and fold down to the left side. and then find our way back to the center. Moving to legs up the wall. So you can either sit on the hands, 
you can put a towel under the low back or if you happen to have a block you can place the block under the low back as well and we'll extend the legs to the sky the knees can be slightly bent if needed and you can roll the ankles here point flex the toes whatever might feel good and then release the feet to the ground. So we move on and do some reclined pigeon. So we take our left ankle, cross it over the right knee. You can take the left hand and gently press away the left inner thigh. However, if you feel comfortable picking up the legs, you can do that as well. You can press your left inner thigh away with your elbow. Try to keep the feet flexed. And as you feel comfortable, you can exhale the legs closer to you. And then release the legs. We'll switch sides, right ankle over the left knee. Press away the inner thigh. Or you can pick up the legs. Use your right elbow to press away the inner thigh if you like. Keep the feet flexed. And as you feel comfortable, exhale the legs closer to you. And then release the legs. And we can open the feet like a book, drop the knees to the side, finding butterfly. And as we're in butterfly, maintaining a neutral curve in the lower back. And then bring the knees together again. We're going to find Shavasana. So we're going to lie long on the mat. Bring the arms to the side. And checking in with our breath. It's also a nice time to do a body scan starting with the toes working your way up part by part until you've reached the head. And notice if there are any areas of tension you can let go. And if you want a longer Shavasana, you can pause the video here. And then we'll bring the knees to chest. We're gonna roll onto one side in a fetal position and then lift up to seated. And on our inhale, we're gonna lift the arms above the head, bring the thumbs together and to the forehead for kind thoughts, to the lips for kind words, and to the heart for kind intentions. I hope I will be able to see you soon. Namaste.